at a Galactic Federation research station on the planet Hydelius. The best scientists in the galaxy have created a serum that can make any creature seemingly invincible. But four days have passed since then, and the research station has gone quiet. So now it is up to Samus Aaron to go to Hydelius and investigate the reason behind the silence, and get the serum back before it falls into the wrong hands. Hey all you Let's Play fans, Baltus MC bringing you a brand new Let's Play series of Super Metroid Hydelius version 1.3 by Trom. Let's go ahead and get this started then. Yeah, this hack came out just recently, I believe at the end of June, that's when it came out. So as with new hacks, there are going to be some things that uh, do need polishing in future versions. But other than that, this hack, I think it's pretty well put together, and it is definitely worth showing off. Which, hey, is one of the main reasons why I'm showing you guys this game. Because I think it does deserve the attention. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and explain uh, things as I go along here. So let's go ahead and start the game, then. Alright, first thing you'll notice here is that uh, there's been a major graphical rehaul of the game. I mean, look at the ship. I really love that ship. And I like the backgrounds, too. There's a lot of good design choices in this game. Uh, a lot of the areas look really cool. Yeah, the maps are completely different, and same with some of the item progression. Also, as you jump around here, you will notice that Samus's physics have been changed around a little bit. And that was one of the major complaints about this hack that I read in the forums, is people hated the physics. Um, but other than that, I don't find them to be that bad. I mean, there are a few jumping puzzles that you have to go through in this game that I think are really well done. Others... And uh, not so much. I'll point those out when I get to them. Yeah. This guy really fucking loves these gates, too. These are everywhere, and I feel like they are unnecessary. At some points, I feel like these gates need to be taken out, because they uh, just get in the way. Okay. Yeah, look at these space pirates, too. Yeah, we actually can't go back that way. We need missiles. That's the first thing we're going to go ahead and get. Yeah, these space pirates look pretty cool. They look like robots with gun arms. Badass! <laughs> okay, we have to jump to the water here because don't have the morph ball to get through that morph ball tunnel up there. Also down here, there is a missile tank hidden there. We will get that later on. But for now, we'll just climb out of this water. And I hope you guys like water physics because you do have to do that at some points in the game. It's like, I feel like he has the water levels a little bit too high in some spots. Ugh, get the fuck up there. There we go. God damn it, dog, stop barking outside! I'm trying to record! Other species are not really, uh... <laughs> really considerate when I'm recording. Damn. Okay, we want to keep heading off this way. And just keep moving along here. Yeah, one thing I will say about this game is it's a pretty big hack. I don't know if you noticed one of my save files when I was uh, starting this up. Oh shit! Ouch! God, fucking pirate. When I was starting this up, but it was like six and a half hours. And that's if you know where to go. There were some people in the forum that say they beat the game and uh, they beat it in something like 11 to 12 hours. So it is a very long hack. There we go. But I feel like it could be shortened a little bit, mainly because there are a lot of one-way passages in this game, and it makes getting around really difficult. I'll show off those too, and uh, hopefully make suggestions to improve the game later on. Alright. Just keep on moving. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt... I don't know if I said this or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to get the maximum percentage in this game. And... A fucking wall jump. My controller's such a busted ass piece of shit. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get all the items in the game. And the reason I'm not saying 100% is because... I beat this game just recently and found out that 100% is not possible. So, I'm just gonna get as many items as I can. Yeah, there are some areas that uh, I just can't seem to get to. That, and they're blocked off for whatever reason. Okay. Another thing you will be seeing me do is using save states a lot. Because this right here isn't so bad. If you fall down, you just have to make your way back up. 
but uh, I don't want to do that on camera because that takes fucking forever and it's annoying. Because you remember those gates I was talking about, how they're everywhere? Well, yeah, that's how you have to get back up. There's one that, uh, there's two of them that go up vertically and you have to ride them up at the very start of this area. And that kind of sucks. Yeah, there will be jumps later on, though, where if you miss them, you will get punished for it. Almost to the point where it's just better off dying. Man, that guy hit me hard. Okay, I want to go ahead and show this off, then, since I could use it. This is an energy recharge station. If you see those around, I recommend using them. Because it is very... Uh, some parts of this hack are very difficult. And having full energy is a requirement. It's like, I remember even get. Wow, <laughs> that guy's gone. He just went straight up. It's like, I remember even with uh, the best armor in the game, taking hits, you still get damaged a whole lot. So that's something you're going to have to get used to. It's worth taking it slow in this game. Alright, and we picked up our first mi missile pack there, and as you notice, it doesn't give us five missiles. Some missile packs, they give you three, others give you just one missile, so yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. But anyways, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is remember where the ship was all the way the fuck back there? Well, I'm going to head back there because now we have to take the pathway to the left, and I don't want to do that on camera since that will take forever. So I'll see you over there in just one second. Alright, and here we are back where the ship is. Yeah, that was a pretty uneventful journey back. That's a little bit of an introduction to the backtracking in the game. So yeah, like I said, if you're not a fan of it, definitely don't play this game, because getting around really kind of sucks in some parts. Alright, saving the game. Now let's go ahead and move off to the left now. Yeah, the difficulty of this hack, though, it isn't too bad. I mean, in some spots, the difficulty does spike up uh, quite a bit in some points, literally. But other than that, it's not uh, so bad. It's pretty good for a decent level uh, Metroid player. I mean, there are some skills you will have to know how to do, like wall jumping is a big one. Ooh, yeah, watch out for these enemies. Yeah, all these enemies are really cool. Oh, fucking thing. It's like, get out of here, Weaver. I'm gonna head down here and grab this morph ball. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, this is a pretty uh, decent hack. It's not too difficult. I'd say it's a little bit harder than uh, when I did Phase On, but uh, still, it's pretty good for an entry-level uh, player. Uh, if you fucking die, you waver, pissing me off. Okay, so now that we have the Morph Ball, we can make our way out of here. Yeah, even the speed of the Morph Ball has been changed around. So that's another thing you're going to have to keep in mind. Another, one of the main things I noticed that's going to take getting used to for uh, people that aren't used to the physics is when you jump at a standstill, especially when you get the spring ball later on, you have a little bit of forward momentum when you go, and that can throw you off, trust me. It seems like you just tap the button at a standstill, and instead of just doing a small jump, you go all over the fucking place. Like a goddamn maniac. Okay. So I just want to go back to the ship, refill my energy. There we go. I don't need to save. And now where we want to go is actually straight up. Yeah, I love that background back there with the buildings. That looks really cool. It's uh, One thing you notice if you look around on this game... Um, the creator of this hack, he definitely put a lot of work into it. He even had, um, like a custom map, like somebody drew for him, or he drew it himself. It looks really cool. Alright, oh, what the fuck? It's like, I don't want to save uh, state scum too much here. Yeah, this is going to be your first introduction uh, to the jumping physics. I guess one thing that's nice um, is this creator, the creator of this hack, Trom, he did put it in uh, 
where get the fuck up there there we go where if you jump uh, while you're running and then you land back on the ground you continue at the same speed that you're going so that's kinda nice I do like that feature alright we got another missile hidden up here definitely want to make sure you grab that I will tell you that missiles are at a premium in this game <laughs> The one thing that's sucky is, oh shit, watch out for you, is the shot speed on not only your beams have been changed, but the shot speed of missiles and such have been changed as well. And I can t I'll tell you right off the bat, a little bit of spoilers, the super missiles in this game, they fire really slow. So you're going to have to keep that in mind. Alright, took care of you. Now this part is one of the first dickest parts in the game. These right here are slopes, and if you land on those, you'll fall right through them and can't jump up uh, back through them. And I'll just show that off. But, yeah, you can see I can't get up that way. But if I fall, yeah, see I go right through it. And yeah, there's spikes down here, and at this point in the game, two hits from those spikes and you're dead. So if you fall down there in the Spikeville, you're pretty much done. So just take your time with your jumps, and you should make it just fine. It's like I had so many problems with that the first time I played. It's like I'm one of the hack players that if I die within the first time playing it, like right off the bat, then yeah, you're not going to hold my attention to keep playing the damn game. Uh, that was one of the main reasons why I didn't do... Uh, Super Metroid Eris was because of that. Just got lost instantly and kept dying to everything, so I'm like, fuck this game. <laughs> it's pissing me off! Alright. Yeah, there's a little bit of excessive use of spikes in this game. Some points I don't find it to be that bad, but in others, it's like, it's not really necessary. And we want to make sure we come over here because, look, we got ourselves an energy tank. So we doubled our survivability. And I kind of like the way the energy tanks look in this, too. Though I will admit, it can get kind of hard to tell how much energy you have left at times. Just when you're looking at it at the corner of your eye. Alright. We've got an item that we can get up here. And with uh, the gravity being changed of your fall, this isn't exactly easy. Okay, yep. There we go got another missile up here. Yeah, sometimes you just uh, end up falling right past that morph ball tunnel, and uh, for whatever reason, even when you're holding the button to get out, or go in there, it doesn't register it, because you're just falling a little bit too fast. Okay. Yeah, we can't go back that way, because it locked with the super missile gate. Oh, shit. I thought he was directly below me. Yeah, some of the enemies in this game are placed in really bad spots. So, thankfully, it's not until later on that you start seeing that. I got another missile tank hidden in here, by the way. But even still, it's it's pretty shitty. That's why you want to make sure you have your energy up at all times. And as you saw, that missile tank that I got there, that only gave me one missile. So that's rather shit. And this right here is something that's exclusive to this hack. I don't know if any other hacks have this, but this right here is a uh, colored gate. Each area has these different colored gates in them, and the, they correspond to colored locks of this um, in the same area. So somewhere around here there's a green gate, or a green lock, that I need to open the door on, and once I do that, then I can get through this green gate here. So yeah, each area has these, and when you see um, the gate, the locks that you need to open, make sure you uh, remember where they're at, because, I'll show you on the map here, because the gates themselves are indicated on the map, but uh, the locks aren't. They just show up as a regular item dot. And usually when you come across the lock, you won't be able to open it right away. So yeah, when you see them, just keep them in mind where they're at. <laughs> okay, so now let's just go ahead and go down this elevator here. And I like the background there, that looks really cool. It's like we're going down into the ocean. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, this area is called the Sand Cliffs. This is what's replaced uh, Brinstar. Yeah, if you look at the map when I go through here, I'll probably show it off. But uh, you can definitely tell this used to be Brinstar by the way it looks. So you can't do anything with those doors. Now let's just head down here. So we ultimately, ultimately want to head towards that red door there. But we have to go all the way around to get there. Okay, so watch out for pirates around here. I don't know what to call these guys. Look like just robots. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite areas in the game. Just because I like the way it looks. Okay, go ahead and open up that. Oop, you missed me. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, and don't run through that door too fast, because as you see, we got spikes in here. There we go. Like I said, a little bit too excessive on the spikes there. There we go. And up here, we have a hidden missile tank. Excellent. So now we're up to 14 missiles. But yeah, if I check the map here... I don't know if you you can notice it too well, but you you will once this map fills out a little bit more. But yeah, this is that area in Brinstar, uh, where you can fall through the floor here. But yeah, they just change it around a little bit. Also, one thing I like about this hack, there are working save stations. It's always nice when you can see that. So we'll go ahead and save up our game, and we'll have to find out where, what's around the sand cliffs in the next video. So stay tuned for more. Super Metroid Hydelius.